The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 9th of February, 1660. Soon as out of my bed I wrote letters into the country to go by carrier today. Before I was out of my bed, I heard the soldiers very busy in the morning, getting their horses ready, where they lay at Hilton's, but I knew not then their meaning in so doing. After I had wrote my letters, I went to Westminster, up and down the hall, and with Mr. Swan walked a good deal talking about Mr. Downing's business. I went with him to Mr. Phelps's house, where he had some business to solicit, where we met Mr. Rogers, my neighbour, who did solicit against him and talked very high, saying that he would not, for a thousand pound, appear in a business that Swan did, at which Swan was very angry, but I believe he might be guilty enough. In the hall I understood how Monk is this morning gone into London with his army, and met with Mr. Fage, who told me that he do believe that Monk is gone to secure some of the common council of the city, who were very high yesterday there, and did vote that they would not pay any taxes till the house was filled up. I went to my office where I wrote to my lord, after I had been at the upper bench, where Sir Robert Pye this morning came to desire his discharge from the tower, but it could not be granted. After that I went to Mrs. Jem, who I had promised to go along with her, with to her aunt writes, but she was gone, so I went thither, and after drinking a glass of sack, I went back to Westminster Hall, and meeting with Mr. Pierce, the surgeon, who would needs take me home, where Mr. Lucy Burrell and others dined, and after dinner I went home and to Westminster Hall, where meeting Swan, I went with him by water to the temple, to our council, and did give him a fee to make a motion tomorrow in the exchequer for Mr. Downing. Thence to Westminster Hall, where I heard an action very finely pleaded between my Lord Dorset and some other noble persons, his lady and other ladies of quality being here, and it was about £330 per annum that was to be paid to a poor spittle, which was given by some of his predecessors, and given on his side. Then Swan and I to a drinking house near Temple Bar, where, while he wrote, I played on my flageolet till a dish of poached eggs was got ready for us, which we ate, and so by coach home. I called at Mr. Harper's, who told me how Monk had this day clapped up many of the common council, and that the Parliament had voted that he should pull down their gates and portcullises, their posts and their chains, which he do intend to do, and do lie in the city all night. I went home and got some alum to my mouth, where I have the beginnings of a cancer, and had also a plaster to my boil underneath my chin.'